Hey friends, welcome back. So today or right now, because it's already put like three videos up today, but right now we are doing a Walgreens. So because I've been so productive today and my schedule is going very, very well, I am able to film and upload. So hopefully this video won't be um, taking too long to get uploaded for you guys to get in on these deals. But again, they start today and they do last all week. So First off, remember I told you in the CBS video, free toothpaste at Walgreens? Well, here it is. Free toothpaste at Walgreens. If there's anything that you should not be paying for, it should be toothpaste. Not 25 cents, not 50 cents. Do not pay for toothpaste because this is the week for you to stock up on toothpaste so you never have to pay for it again. This would be jumping ahead to get so much toothpaste in your stockpile to where you have a whole drawer full. All you need is the manufactured coupons for $1 off. Those coupons came out in today's Smart Source for $1 off one. Also, check on coupons.com. There is a coupon, but the problem is at Walgreens that you know they don't do um, a coupon that's over the amount, so I don't know how that's going to work out. And I'm not sure if that is a CVS coupon. So I haven't printed it. I have all my coupons to print on coupons.com. I checked them off, but I haven't went to go actually print them and take them off my printer. So I do plan on doing that because there was new coupons that reset. So I definitely need to print those. So I'm not sure if, it's, if it is a CVS coupon. It does say CVS. I'm not sure if it's like it's a store coupon or if it's just pushing to use at CVS. So the deal with the toothpaste is is that it's on the front page of the ad when you walk in the store if you got it in your newspaper today the coupon is for two dollars off so you can use this coupon up to four times in one transaction which means that when you buy four of them it's going to take two dollars off of each toothpaste well the toothpaste are priced at three dollars so that's going to take two dollars off of each one even if you went in and you just purchased four toothpaste then it would take off eight dollars and then all you would need is four of the one dollar off manufacturer coupons from the 10 to smart source today now i purchased all different ones i did not get a lot of inserts this week i only got eight and i already used all of the coupons i did i went to walgreens twice today first time i didn't have all my coupons the second time i came back home and clipped my coupons and ended up buying more than i should have <laughs> But I still think that I got good deals. So um, I got the Colgate Total, Colgate Total Advance, Optic White, and the Max Fresh. So pretty much all of the Colgates you can choose from are priced at $3. Some of them are $3.99, so don't grab those. Um, just grab the ones that are $3 because guess what? They all brush your teeth the same. So hopefully you guys have the coupon. All you have to do is just have the ad. Make sure the cashier... Oops. Make sure the cashier scans the uh, ad for that coupon. Then go back the next day if your store is strict and you have more coupons. Just do four at a time or go uh, to a different Walgreens and get four more if you are able to go to Walgreens twice in one day. So this was that. Next up, while I was in the store, I decided to um, see what I can browse and find. I was really trying to find where could we use the $3 off Revlon coupon since CVS no longer carries the shadow links. I think it caught everybody by a surprise. Totally caught me off guard. Um, I had no idea that they stopped selling them there. So that coupon is just pointless to even use at CVS, especially for only getting three ECBs back. Unless you had a lot of personalized coupons to stack, it's better to use that coupon elsewhere. Now, some people may have Rite Aid. I know a few people were telling me that last time they used their coupons at Rite Aid, but I don't have a Rite Aid here in Texas, so I can't coupon at Rite Aid. So this, this is the October coupon book. So since it's October 2nd now, they do have these available. Um, these are in the front of the store when you walk in and there are Walgreens coupons in here. So you can have the cashier scan this as well as your manufacturer coupons. Now I don't understand. Some people have told me that they don't, the cashier doesn't let them do both, but I've never heard of that because this is a Walgreens coupon and you can combine it with a manufacturer coupon that's clipped from your inserts. Another thing that you can do is you can also check the Walgreens app on your phone and just see what coupons they have available and you can just send them to your account. It's basically like clipping the coupons and sending them to your account. So when you get to the 
register and you type in your phone number, then any coupons that you just clicked and sent to your account will apply at the register. So when I opened it, I flipped and I flipped and I flipped. And there is a $4 off coupon for Revlon. Now it is $4 off two. They are buy one, get one 50% off right now. And they are priced at $8.99. So the first one's $8.99. You use the $3 off coupon, making it cost um, $5.99. And then the $4 off is going to take $2 off because it's $4 off two. So what it did was it deducted $2 from all four that I purchased. So the second one is going to cost $4 and some change, $4.59 I believe. So then when they deduct the $2 off coupon, it's going to knock it down to $2.59. Now the problem there is, um, remember you're going to have that $3 off coupon. Well, it's not going to scan. I for, again forgot about that. It's not going to scan. So you have two options. You can ask your cashier if they will put it in for the amount, which is $2.59. They're going to get reimbursed the full $3 from the manufacturer, but it'll be in your benefit if they will at least put it in for the amount of the um, Revlon because you never know. They may say yes. So one of you had told me to uh, that that's what your cashier did for you and they didn't have a problem. So I definitely want to mention that to you. So my cashier, there was a little bit of issues. My cashier ended up, what did she do? I think she scanned the coupon or maybe she just manually entered the coupon. Um, we had some technical difficulties at the register today. So I was able to use all the coupons. But another thing that happened was that I posted this on my Instagram today. I don't really buy a lot of candy like this. I always buy the smaller ones, so I don't know what a good price on this size bag of candy is. So, I posted the picture on Instagram and I said, you know, I don't know if this is a good price, but it was tagged in my store for $6.99 and then there was a $1 off coupon making it $5.99. So, um, it was a whole bunch of them like behind this and there was a tag right there. So. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get it because it's a really big bag of candy. I mean, it's huge. It's like, what is it? It's a four pound bag of candy. Humongous. So I get to the register and it rings up for $19.99. And I told the girl and I was like, well, I took a picture of it and I was like, there's a sign back there. And I said, it's not just one of them. I said, it's a whole bunch that are tagged with this price. So... Um, she paid for the manager and the manager came and she said, oh, she said, honor that price for her. She said, I need to check it out. Maybe somebody put this, the tag in the wrong price. Key words were honor that price for her. So they honored it at $6.99. Now, the bad thing is, is that the $1 off coupon did not take off. She tried to scan it. There was a $1 off coupon in the book right here. And I also think that there was one that I clipped and sent, but none of them applied. I don't know why. Yeah. No coupon, can, no candy coupons apply. So I was like, it's okay. I'll still take the candy. Um, I wasn't planning on getting it, but I saw it for that price and I wasn't going to pass it up because... Um, my husband will spend like $50 to $100 on Halloween candy for the trick-or-treaters. No, I am not in the business of doing that, okay? He did that last year and I about lost it. I was like, I will make sure that I get all the candy at CVS with my ECBs or if I see any deals like this, I will make sure to get them. So, that was that. Now, the very first thing that I did before I even went to Walgreens today was I signed up for the beauty club. It, like, literally takes two seconds. All you do is type in your phone number, your zip code, and your date of birth, and then it tells you that you're signed up. So, I did that before I went back the second time because when I came back home, I came to get my coupons. So, when I went back the second time, I purchased four of the... Um, a Revlon items. I purchased four of the toothpaste in one transaction because again you can only use four light coupons at Walgreens in one transaction and I purchased the candy for $5.99. Uh, after all of my coupons I had 2,000 points. She did use those 2,000 points that I had from a previous transaction probably a couple of weeks ago and then it was too late. She pressed total so I could not use my $5 register reward that I wanted to use. Luckily, it does not expire until the 10th. 
So I ended up paying out of pocket, which I did not want to do, but I did not want her to have to void my transaction all over again because she had already did it once because the first time we checked out, she forgot to scan the, uh, uh, what do you call it she forgot to scan the ad right here so she had to avoid it so I was like don't worry about it I'll just pay out of pocket it's no big deal so I paid out of pocket um what was it after my 2,000 points I paid like $13 and some change out of pocket which technically should have only been about six dollars out of pocket because if you take away the candy that's the only thing that I would have done so I paid $13 out of pocket and then I ended up getting back it was it said congratulations on your reward That is what I did. I still felt it was really good. My closing balance is 7,470 points. So that's basically seven bucks that I have. Um, and it says that I need to spend $27 to get to my next bonus. Um, I, again, I don't know. I don't have no questions to ask. When they say that they're giving me 5,000 points, I'm good right there. <laughs> So I was happy with Walgreens minus the fact that I had to pay out of pocket but again I was I've been on a coupon and roll today Target was good to me basically I did not have an out of pocket except for 34 cents I only paid 34 cents for all of that air wick that I got the first transaction was zero dollars and zero cents the second one was 34 cents and then of course I got the deodorant and stuff but I still didn't pay for that I used a gift card it was a charge but I did not come out of pocket for it and then I got a gift card back so I'm not gonna complain that I ended up having to pay at Walgreens as much as I did not want to it happened and I got candy for the trick-or-treaters now so I'm happy so hopefully you guys can go out and do these deals if you don't want to do the Revlon deal um, definitely just hold on to your coupon if maybe again I don't know about Rite Aid but if you guys have those I know that they have an awesome point system I do try to watch some videos just because I'm curious I don't know how to coupon there but I do get enjoyment out of watching other people's Rite Aid videos just I don't have it I don't know Know, I'm just fascinated by the whole point thing and I don't know I just like watching them so yeah so that is my Walgreens couponing for today so now I have this five dollars to still roll if I can find something else to get this week I'll definitely check it out um, I was reading the ad and the shaving cream is not a very good deal to do and the only reason why is it says buy three and you get a $10 register reward but the trick is is that it says minimum one cart one cartridge purchase required so you can't just buy three of the shaving creams use the two dollar off coupon and then get a ten dollar register reward back because it won't work because it says that you have to buy at least one cartridge so that is like a no-go um other than that, I didn't really see anything else. I'll look over the ad again. I didn't like fully look over it, but I'll look and see if there's anything else that I missed maybe. Um, or if you guys go out, let me know and tell me and I'll definitely see if I can put my $5 to good use and get another $5 or more out of it. Alright guys, so I talked way too much in this video. I was only hoping to stay at 10 minutes, but I think I'm over. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I love you to the minute back and I'll see you later. Oh, I know what I forgot to tell you. Hold on, I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm back. So another thing that I did today was I went to Walmart. Number one, I had to go buy some stuff that we needed for the house. And then I wanted to see if I can find some Revlon either on clearance or to see if um, I could find something that was reasonable um, purchasing with that $3 off coupon. Unfortunately, there is nothing close except for the nail polish. It's $3.97. Um, I did check clearance. There was one bottle of nail polish for $3 exactly. So check yours. I also saw a ton of physicians formula that's marked down to like five and seven dollars. But I don't know if you'd rather buy that at CVS because you get the ECBs back. But hey, if you don't have CVS and you do have Walmart, of course there was no peelies on these products, but physicians formula is and um is on clearance. So 
what did I do? I grabbed four of these green light bulbs. They are priced at 96 cents. Since I got these, this was the only transaction I was doing. I went to my neighborhood market for this and then I had to go to my big super Walmart. So um, I haven't found these at my regular Walmart, at the big Walmart. They're, I can only find them at the super Walmart. Maybe, I'm sorry, I can only find them at the neighborhood market. Um, I guess maybe at the big Walmart, a lot of people buy them. But remember those light bulb coupons that we got? I believe it was in the 918 inserts. I think, I can't remember, or was it last week? I don't know. I always forget. Well, they were $1 off, these 96 cents. I purchased four of them, and I ended up getting a negative total. So why am I so excited to tell you about these light bulbs? Well, for the very first time, I got paid money back from Walmart. I got 16 cents back. Not a lot, but 16 cents is 16 cents, and I will take it, okay? Um, I can throw this in my car, and when I'm going through a drive through and I need change, it's right here. So I normally just... Like I, like I tell you guys, I have a reloadable gift card, but um, I didn't realize that I was going to get the overage, so it was too late for me to add something because I was going to add a Kit Kat. For some reason, I just wanted to eat a Kit Kat, but it had already prompt for the CSM to come, so I was at self-check, and so I just left my coupons there again. I left the coupons there um, so that they can check them, and the CSM came, and I told her, I said, I can just add this Kit Kat, you know, so that you don't have to give me any money back. And she's like, no, it's okay. So she typed in her numbers or whatever. And then it printed my receipt and it says, please get your change. And I was like, oh, maybe it's not going to print. I mean, maybe it's not going to spit out. But she goes, no, it will. And guess what? It did. It gave me back 16 cents. So I got paid to take these out of the store. And we are going to put them outside at Christmas time and light up our outside. So yeah, I got free light bulbs. I just thought I'd tell you guys about that if you were not aware. These are 96 cents. And I did get the overage back. If your store doesn't allow you to get it, definitely if you're going to use four coupons, just grab something else. Um, uh, uh, I don't know a candy that's like 78 cents that's what most of them cost that way you don't have any problems at the register or you could always say can I get 16 cents on a gift card and you can always do it that way and then your total will come out to zero dollars and zero cents alright guys I'm really leaving this time because Shameless is back on and even though I watched it last night on demand I want to watch it again tonight and if you don't know what that is it comes on I think Shameless is on Showtime. I think. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But I love you guys to the minute back and I'll see you later.